Okay, chapter nuclear and particle physics, 11.1 about binding energy and mass defect. Okay, first about nuclear structure. As you know that a nucleus of an atom is made up by a proton and neutrons that known as a nucleon. It's defined as the particle found inside the nucleus. So, nucleus consists proton and neutron and the outside kita ada electron. So, satu ni kita panggil dia sebagai atom. Okay, proton and neutron are characterized by the following properties. So, proton, as you know that the charge is 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19. But neutron, the uncharged. Eh? And then the mass is 1.672 uh, times 10 to the power of negative 27 kilogram. And neutron is 1.675 times 10 to the power of negative 27 kilogram. Okay, for neutral atoms, the number of proton inside the nucleus are equal with the number of electron orbiting the nucleus. Kalau neutral atoms, nak tanya number of electron dia mesti sama dengan number of proton. Okay, this is because the magnitude of electron charge equal to the magnitude of proton charge but in opposite sign. Okay, so any nucleus of element in the periodic table is called a nuclide. It's characterized by its atomic number Z and its mass number A. Okay, atomic, ma atomic number Z is the number of proton in a nucleus. Neutron number is N. Is that the neutron, the number of neutron in the nucleus, mass or we call it as a uh, mass number or nuclear number is A, is the number of nucleon in the nucleus. So as you know that mass ataupun mass number ataupun nuclear number dia adalah sama dengan hasil tambah atomic number and neutron number. So this is mass number, this is atomic number, and this is element. Okay, so atomic number Z is equal to with the number of proton. Okay. So, kalau tanya number of electron atau number of proton, dia adalah duduk di sini lah. Nombor dia. Okay. So, next is uh, 11.1 define what is a mass defect. Okay, mass defect is defined as the mass difference between the total mass of the constituent nucleons and the mass of nucleus. Constituent nucleons ni adalah yang ni. This is, we call it as constituent nucleus ZMP plus NMN. Uh, itu adalah constituent nucleus minus with the mass of nucleus. Okay, so mass defects, data M is equal to Z. Z is number of proton times with mass of proton plus with number of neutron times with mass of neutron. And then close bracket minus with mass of nucleus. Okay, so let's say the question given, uh, uh, didn't given you a... Uh, Okay, uh, let's say the question give you uh, atomic mass. Okay, mass of atomic. Dia tak bagi mass of nucleus. You cari dulu mass of nucleus bagi soalan tersebut. So, macam mana nak cari mass of nucleus? Mass of atomic, you minus with number of proton, you darab dengan mass of electron. Maksudnya, you kena cari dulu. Dalam atom, kita ada electron. So, kita kena singkirkan electron dulu supaya kita dapat berapakah mass of nucleon. Uh, mass of nucleus yang ada neutron and proton tu. That's why untuk dapatkan mass of nucleus, mass of atomic yang ada electron, proton and neutron, kita kena singkirkan electron supaya kita keluar uh, mass of nucleus sahaja. Okay, so semua ni mass of E, mass of N, mass of P ni semua ada dalam constant list lah. Okay, then the reduction or in mass arise because the act of combining the nucleons to form the nucleus cause some of their mass to be released as energy. Okay, so that's why dia menjadi sikit lah. And then, um, any atom to the separate uh, the nucleons would involve them being given the same amount of energy. This energy we call as binding energy. You akan belajar nanti. And then, the mass of nucleus. Mass nucleus is always less than the total mass of constituent nucleon which uh, which is ZMP plus NMN. Ini adalah constituent nucleons. Okay. Okay, let's try this. Example 1, we have mass defect for uranium 2 T892 uranium given mass of nucleus. The bagi mass of nucleus is 238.00037 U. U ni adalah unit dia eh. Ha, jangan tinggal pula. Okay, so dah bagi uh, constant list ni, you boleh dapat daripada constant list dalam soalan kat depan eh. Okay, so nak dapatkan dia suruh cari mass defect. Formula mass defect data M is equal to ZMP plus NMN minus with mass of nucleus. Dalam soalan dah bagi mass of nucleus, kita boleh terus direct kira. Okay, Z is number of proton. Proton dekat bawah, 92 times with mass of, pro mass of proton. Yang ni, 1.007277U plus with. Okay, this is neutron number 238 minus 92. You dapat 146. 
darab dengan mass of neutron and then mass of neutron and then minus with mass of nucleus yang dibagi dalam soalan so we get 1.934204u ah uh, mesti ambilkan ambil semua nombor eh dan unitnya adalah dalam u lah kalau dia time dalam u dalam u lah kalau unit dalam kilogram you kena darab dengan perkali untuk kilogram tapi saya selalu tinggal dalam unit u sajalah okay next example 2 calculate the mass defect Ah, uh, now they get, they bagi you atomic mass atomic mass of ferrum given mass of neutron and ah uh, semua-semua constant this Okay, so kena cari dulu mass of nucleus because dia bagi atomic mass. Macam mana nak cari mass of nucleus? Atomic mass you da, you tolak dengan ZME. Maksudnya you tolak dengan berapa bilangan elektron yang ada dalam ferrum tersebut. So, atomic mass you minus with Z is number of proton yang sama dengan bilangan number of elektron. 26 you times with mass of elektron. So, sebanyak ni lah bilangan elektron yang ada dalam ferrum ni. So, dapatlah 55.920665 you... Okay, so next lepas you dapat mass of nucleus Baru you boleh guna formula mass defect ZMP plus NMN And then uh, close bracket minus dengan mass of nucleus Then repeat balik soalan uh, apa cara yang sama Z number of proton untuk ferrum 26 Darab dengan mass of proton plus with neutron number Iaitu 56 you minus with 26 is 30 Times with mass of neutron number Minus with uh, Mass of nuclear So you akan dapat 0.528487U 